This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to add and modify media in Apple Motion 5.3. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to retime a clip. In other words, change its speed. Shift Z so we get this to fit. I don't need the inspector for right this instant. What I want to do now is to explore a series of behaviors we haven't seen before. Let's go up to behaviors, go down to retiming, and let's do let's do a hold frame. Let's put our playhead where we want the frame to freeze right there. That's perfect. So we go up to behaviors under Retiming and say hold frame and it adds because the playhead is not playing it adds a new behavior at the position of the playhead and watch what happens We've got this wild dance incredible music and it hits the hold frame and boom she freezes and Stays frozen until the rest of the project Well, this is where motion starts to separate itself from other applications like Final Cut or Premiere because watch what happens if I take this hold frame and set it out and now play it it freezes, and the instant the hold frame is over, picks right up where it left off and continues to play. Even better, if I grab this hold frame and drag it over to here and play it, it freezes whatever frame is underneath the hold frame and then lets it go and she continues dancing. This uh, Maybe I want to start with a hold frame at the beginning. Start at the beginning, she's frozen, and then, boom, starts dancing. This ability to move the hold object not having to worry about keyframes or thumbnails. This just makes it really, really easy to have something pause and pick right up where it left off. Well, there's something even cooler than this. If we select our clip, go to behaviors, go down to retiming, and this time I'm going to set the speed, and now I do want to use the inspector. The speed is set to 50%. So I'm going to say, let's play this, and the whole thing is at 50%, except I want to go at normal speed to here and then have it slow down when it hits set speed and now we're going at 50% except I want to have it end there type O to set the out and I don't want it to be 50% I want it to be 20% and now when we play it we're going at normal speed and whoop, we're into slow one-fifth speed and then whoop, we're back again except I don't want it there I want it over to here and play it back and it's you see the power of using these as objects? I'm not having to set keyframes. I don't have all that strange construct of the retiming tab inside Final Cut. You set the object of where you want the speed to be slow. Set that in the inspector to be whatever speed you want. You can control the ease in and ease out times. Just grab and drag. You'll see the difference. Drag this. You don't want it to be that long or that short. You don't even have to... I and O makes it easy. Dragging the edge of it is easy. And let's have this be really slow. Set it to, oh, I don't know. That's great. Play it back. And, whoa. and we're back again. Is that not cool? So what we've seen is we select the clip, go to behaviors, retiming, and then we can start to tweak these to be whatever we want. A couple others to take a look at. Take a look at reverse, which makes the clip play backwards. Take a look at ping pong, which lets the clip play forward and backwards. You can play with all of these. The ones that I use the most are set speed, which I adjust inside the inspector, and hold frame. But any of these inside retiming are worth playing with. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at how to add and modify media inside Apple Motion 5.3. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 217. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.